Now, Glenn, while we've got you, I want to ask you an, about another story uh, that I saw this week, and it's about a star, the tenth brightest star in the night sky. It has a name that I'm not going to be brave enough to, to try and pronounce, but you might. Apparently, it's become 50% brighter. Why? Do we know? Yeah, so this is the star Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse. Um, people know, of course, the Betelgeuse from the movie, but uh, Betelgeuse, quite often, it's a star in the constellation of Orion, so a very prominent constellation in our night sky. It's a red giant star, so it's a star coming towards the end of its life. And astronomers think that we could actually be seeing the death throes of that star before it goes supernova. Now, some astronomers believe it could go supernova in the next 10 years. Some astronomers believe it could be in the next million years or so. So it's an interesting thing to keep an eye out because this star has sort of a brightening and a sort of fading phase every 400 days and then it has other cycles as well. It dimmed a few years ago through a cloud of interstellar dust and gas that blocked our view, which we didn't realise until further study. But now it seems to be really brightening and this is a little more unusual brightening than it normally does. So this could just be another indicator of the final legs of its life. Glenn, also, I have to ask you, we had a discussion a bit earlier in the program about a whistleblower in the US who has very high security clearance and, and seems to have a, have a resume where he'd know what he's talking about. He's suggesting the US is keeping alien spacecraft, remnants of spacecraft, and not telling anyone about it. NASA is saying it doesn't know anything about this. If we had seen alien spacecraft come to Earth, you'd think NASA would know, right? Yeah, so NASA, of course, has been conducting a panel on uh, UFOs or U UAPs, as we refer to them now, and they've studied hundreds and hundreds of these so-called sightings. And they can only sort of, about 5% of them, they can't quite explain, and only because we don't have enough evidence, enough information. So these recent extraordinary claims of alien spacecraft, and this is not the first time it's ever been claimed by a so-called expert or an insider, uh, these extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And if you think, Ash, just the amount of cameras that exist on the planet today, we've all got them in our pockets walking around, we can get uh, extraordinary images of a car crash in action or a plane crashing into a building, but nobody has ever gotten a decent photo of a UFO or an alien. So I think uh, we'll all just sit back and enjoy the fun of hearing about these stories. Yeah, you're right. It's, uh, it's fun to think about. Anyway, Glenn Nagel, really appreciate you making the time for us as always. Thanks so much. Always a pleasure. Thank you.